Hello everyone. This program is brought to you by the Mahabharat Kadusan USA Center in collaboration with Astro Seminary. This is the second episode of the Ethiopian calendar. This week, our sister Tigist Aragai will present to us the mathematics behind the movable fast of the new year 2016. May God help us gather our thoughts. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Hello everyone. Last week, our brother Diakon Abel discussed the background of Ethiopic calendar. Today, I'll be presenting the process of calculating the movable fastes and feasts for the year 2016. In the Ethiopian calendar, each year is associated with the name one of the four evangelists. To determine the evangelist for a specific year, a calculation is performed. First, the Amet Alam, which signifies the year of the world, is found. This involves adding 5,500 years, which existed before the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the years after his birth. For example, in the year 2016, the year of the world is 7,516. Next, the year of the world is divided by four. Since the, there are four evangelists and their names repeat every four years, when 7,516 is divided by four, the result is 1,879, with no remainder. The remainder is crucial in, the, in determining the evangelists of the year. If the remainder is zero, it corresponds to the year of John. If the remainder is two, the evangelists for the, that year is Mark, and so on, as illustrated in the provided chart. The crucial number obtained by dividing by four is also important and known as metanarabit which will be used later in this episode for another calculation. To determine the starting days of movable fasts and feasts each year, three calendaric parameters must be calculated. First, cycle, which is related to Amharic terms, Medeb and Wamber. The second one is Apokti, or Epact, which is translated as Abakte. And the third one is Medk, these values vary annually and requires specific calculations. Once the year of the world has been calculated, the number can be found by dividing it by 19, as a metonic cycle consists of 19 years. For example, when dividing 7,516 by 19, the quotient is 395 with a remainder of 11. The convenient method to calculate the remainder is by using the modulus function in Excel, which is mod number comma divisor in parentheses. For instance, applying mod 7516 comma 19 yields a result of 11. To determine the number value, we subtract one from the cycle's remainder resulting in a number value of 10. This adjustment accounts for the fact that the current year 2000, 2016 has just started and is not completed. With the number value known, we can calculate the impact by multiplying the number by 11, which gives us 110. Then, we divide the 110 by 30, resulting in an integer value of 3 and remainder of 20. The remainder 20 becomes the impact value. Finally, to find the metric, an equation requires that the metric and impact values, when added together, must always equal 30. Therefore, the metric for the year is calculated as 10. By obtaining the number, impact, and metric values for a specific year, we can accurately determine the starting days of the movable fastest and fastest. 
Now, the calculated MEDC value of 10 indicates that the day of trumpet will be observed in Tekant, which is corresponding to the Gregorian months of October to November. This information is determined by specific parameters employed in the Ethiopian calendaric system. Continuing our endeavor to determine the starting days of the movable fast Saint Festus in the Ethiopian calendar for the year 2016, our focus is now shifts to finding the days of the week for the Ethiopian New Year, also known as Head of the Year. This term directly translated to Re'isa Awda Amet in Ge'ez or the Hebrew Rosh Hashanah. The Ethiopian New Year, Maskaram 1st of 2016 in the Ethiopian calendar year corresponds to September 12, 2023 in the Gregorian calendar year. To accomplish this, we utilize the previously calculated value the met and rabbit, which was 1,879, when we divided the year of the world by four. Adding this value, or the 1,879, to the year of the world, 7,516, we obtain 9,395. Next, we divide this number, which is the 9,395, by seven, resulting in a quotient of 1,342 with a remainder of one. This remainder referred to as Tintek Amr. According to the provided chart indicates that Maskaram first will be observed on a Tuesday for the year 2016. Furthermore, the day of trumpet, which signifies the men's end day of the lunar new year, will be observed on Tekant Tens, or October 21st. The previously calculated MEDC value of 10, falling within the range of 2 to 13, which designates the observance months as Tekant. If the MEDC had been between 15 and 30, the day of trumpet would have been observed in September. This crucial information enables us to identify the starting days of the movable fasts and feasts for the Ethiopian calendar year 2016. The next crucial calendaric parameter is Mebaja Hammer, which is the total of the days of trumpets and the days add-on. The days add-on begins with Saturday, which holds the maximum value of eight, and then decreases by one for each consecutive day. Sunday is seven, Monday is six, Tuesday is five, Wednesday is four, Thursday is three, and Friday is two. Starting from Maskaram one, which will be observed on Tuesday, we count to the day of trumpet, which falls on a Saturday. As previously mentioned, the add-ons for Saturday on Tukantain is eight. Therefore, the Mebaja Hammer is the sum of these two parameters will be tickant 10 plus 8 resulting in tickant 18. In addition, the fast of Nineveh always commences four months after the date of the Mebaja Hammer, which is tickant 8. Therefore, Nineveh will be observed on Yekatit 18 or tickant 18 plus four months. Nineveh serves as the cornerstone for the calculation of the movable fastest and fastest. Following Nineveh, the other movable fastest and fastest have their respective add-ons as follows. Great Length has add-on 14, and it will be observed on Maccabi 2. Mount Olives has an add-on 1 month and 11 days, and it will be observed on Maccabi 29. Palm Sunday has an add-on two months and two days and it will be observed on Miazia 20. Crucifixion has an add-on two months and seven days and it will be observed on Miazia 25. Preservation has an add-on two months and nine days and it will be 
observed on Miasia 27. Synod has add on three menses in three days and it will be observed on Gumbot 21. Ascension has an add on three menses in 18 days and it will be observed on Sunny 6. Pentecost has an add on three months and 28 days and it will be observed on Sunday 16. The Apostles Fast has an add on three months and 29 days and it will be observed on Sunday 17. Salvation Fast has an add on four months and one day and it will be observed on Sunday 19. This add ons determine the dates and corresponding movable fasts and feasts and the Ethiopian calendar. With this, I'll bring my presentation to a close. I hope you have learned how the movable fasts and feasts of Ethiopian Orthodox Tuhado Church are calculated and announced every year. Next week, our sister Bethlehem will present to us the last episode about the difference among Ethiopian, Gregorian, and Julian calendars. Glory be to the Father, to the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory be to God for teaching us through our sister. May you hear the word of life, Sister Tigist. From this presentation, we've learned how to find the dates of fasts and feasts from Nineveh to the dates of salvation for the Ethiopian New Year of 2016. I hope you'll be able to do it by yourself for the coming or past years of the Ethiopian calendar based on this lesson. We'll bring you our last episode next time to show you how the Ethiopian calendar is different from others. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us at us.english.tv at eotcmk.org. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.